Did you hear who the new PTA teacher advisor is? I did. Grayson Kendall. Nice to meet you. You're head of the PTA, correct? Yes. Couldn't you just rip that preppy little sweater vest right off of him? <laughs> In your dreams, maybe. <laughs> Say, when is Peter coming home? He's not. He's traveling, as always. You're really good with kids, Grayson, honestly. It's a breath of fresh air. How is Mr. Kendall working out as your new advisor? He's really nice. Hey. It's a great way for a new teacher to get to know everyone. My husband thinks I'm boring. How could you ever be boring? He actually mentioned that you personally have been more than welcoming. Thank you for all your hard work, Lily. Courtney Brixton, she knows. She threatened you. She saw you sexually harass him. No. As of this moment, you are no longer a member of the PTA. Did you have sex with him? He sent me a key to a motel. He wears these weird masks. Look, he can't take no for an answer. We're meant to be together. I'm in love with my husband. As you should be. I need help. Yes, you do need help. You're Peter's wife. No, you're my wife, Rose. A lily for my rose. Honey? You're imagining things, Lily. He's a good guy. He hasn't been sneaking around our house. You're not being stalked by him. What are you doing here? I came for you. I'm losing my mind. I believe you. He had a daughter named Beth and a wife named Rose. It was the little girl. They died. You just loved them too much to do anything. So evil. Leave me alone! I fell in love with you all over again. Where's Ash? Your son is out there somewhere, okay? You don't know what real, true love is. True love transcends through death. <gasps> it comes back to you. This is my family. Leave us alone! Shh, it's okay. He said we can be together. Ah!